Hello YouTube class, welcome to My English Voice. Okay, if you haven't downloaded the worksheet already, go and do that. You'll find it at myenglishvoice.com and then come back here to start the listening lesson. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Well, I would say that uh, there is no such thing as the free market. You know, free market is a myth uh, in the sense that you think uh, that some market is free, but uh, when you think about it, uh, all markets have government restrictions on what can be traded, who can trade, yeah, and how it can be traded, and so on. I mean, uh, you know, people often uh, say that our oh, stock markets are the, the free markets, but you know, do you think you can turn up at London Stock Exchange with a bag of shares and uh, sell it on the uh, doorsteps? No, I mean, uh, you have to go through you know, rigorous uh, the, uh, vetting process in terms of uh, your you know, company accounts and so on. And uh, the, even when you go there and uh, try to sell your shares, I mean, only you know, certified traders can sell them. And, you know, if uh, prices uh, fall too much, uh, the, the government will you know, suspend the, the trading and so on. So, uh, you know, actually, that uh, is uh, the, a myth that there is uh, such thing as a free market. I mean, that you think some markets are free only because you so totally agree with uh, the regulations underpinning it that you don't see them. Yeah? You know, I mean, the, in the 19th century, a lot of European capitalists uh, thought it was outrageous that there would be something like uh, child labor regulation. Yeah? You know, the argument was that this was an infringement of uh, the, the freedom in the labor market. Those kids want, want to work. Yeah? We want to employ them. What is your problem? Yeah? But uh, today, even that, uh, those people who could uh, potentially benefit from employing child labor, I mean, not probably all of them, but most of them would be against that uh, introducing uh, the, the child labor again. Actually, that uh, is uh, a myth that there is uh, such thing as a free market. I mean, that you think some markets are free only because you so totally agree with uh, the regulations underpinning it that you don't see that. Okay, so now it's time for the international English pronunciation focus. I'm going to play just a short extract from the video. You need to listen really carefully and just focus on the sounds. Then try repeating exactly the same thing and then compare your pronunciation with the speaker's pronunciation. Remember that we all have different accents, and different does not necessarily mean better or worse, but if you can notice differences, this would help you next time you speak to somebody with that same accent. This is especially important if you know, if you know that you're going to speak to people with this accent, and you know that this is not a familiar accent to you. The more you listen to different accents, the easier they will be to understand. If you want more help understanding what to focus on, you can download the pronunciation guide at myenglishvoice.com. Okay, are you ready to listen? Don't forget, listen, repeat, notice, and reflect. Let's go. I would say that uh, there is no such thing as the free market. You know, free market is a myth uh, in the sense that you think uh, that some market is free, but uh, when you think about it, uh, all markets have government restrictions on what can be traded, who can trade, yeah, and how it can be traded, and so on. I mean, Okay, so that's it for this week's lesson. Thanks for watching. Remember, we have lots of other categories on the website, myenglishvoice.com. You can leave your answer to the discussion question in the comments box below. Um, or you can join our weekly listening lesson feedback. That's free. It's a YouTube live broadcast. You can type your answers into the chat box to connect with people from all over the world. Um, I also have the speaking weekly lessons as well on YouTube. Um, these you do have to pay 
pay for, but it's just the price of a cup of coffee. So hopefully everybody can afford to join us for that. For more information, check out the details at myenglishvoice.com. Most importantly, don't forget to share your English voice with my English voice.